myself I feel like I have the same intro literally every time I start this but I haven't filmed myself in a few days but it's been an amazing weekend um, I didn't get all the footage I wanted from this weekend because it's just been so ridiculously busy so Friday I went to the state of the province address which was like the legislature of um, Durban I was at like this really incredible venue and it was a vip event i was like what am i doing here but the king zulu himself was there i mean uh, it, king zulu is equivalent to like queen elizabeth kind of like power and royalty that's not even a word but you get what i'm saying and um so that was a really incredible experience to witness and i was kind of there just you know on behalf of the political econ side of the US consulate here, taking notes, listening to the speech, and just, you know, analyzing, which was really cool. And the speech was really great. Um, it was two hours, it was a long, a long one, but I made it through. And then um, we had lunch and came back and then went to this beautiful jazz night at the Alliance Francaise, which is like, kind of like the French club. It's not a club, I mean like French club. Literally people go there to take lessons, to learn French. Um, they sell like used French books and they give homeless people um, used books to sell so that they can kind of like empower them to earn, earn a living. So that's really amazing. And we went to this jazz night and it was amazing. The performers were just like, incredible and I met I met some really cool people um, it was really nice and then yesterday Maker and I so we rented a car and I drove um, I drove because you know I'm a little more comfortable with driving on this side of the road I did learn how to drive here um, for those of you who don't know South Africa is um, right hand drive so yeah um, so yeah, it was really amazing. We rented a car and we drove about an hour and a half to this place called Howick, which has one of the best uh, tree canopy zip lining places in the world. So we did that, it's called Carcluth, and it was so, <laughs> so beautiful. Like literally when we were up there, I felt like such a tree hugger, but I, I hugged this tree because it was just so gorgeous. Like you could, it, we were very high up and you just look out onto this incredible view. And I hugged onto this tree and I just felt this energy, you know? I <laughs> felt so like, oh, like such a hippie, but really it was beautiful. And we spent about two hours just zip lining, which was so incredible. And we had some lunch and then we drove um, to like this waterfront, beach area walked around for about an hour and then dropped the rental car off and then came home and just kind of relaxed been watching love island it's truly been the obsession lately and then this morning it's sunday now and we had some scones for breakfast and watched love island and we're still watching love island hours later so things are going really great it's a beautiful sunday and later tonight we're gonna go to the movies and watch ma which is supposed to be like a psychological thriller so that's gonna be great um but yeah it's a beautiful chill sunday and i'm feeling great it's nothing if you're So I actually have time this morning to show you my OOTD and I went for like this kind of all neutrally pink look because I'm trying to match it with these beautiful shoes that I got. These ones. So yes, these are from Cotton On. They're gorgeous. They're actually from an Australian brand though named Ruby and they're just beautiful. I love them. So that's the look for the day. And now, I mean, I have to take these off, but you get it. And we're also really happy because we normally leave at like 7 to 7.30, sometimes even 6.30. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, this is, it, this is a treat. We are getting to stay here until 8.30. So the day really only starts at 9 at work. 
So it's truly a nine to five today because we have been doing like 7.30 until like 5.30. Yeah. It's, it's been a lot. So we are very excited. We're about to sit down and watch um, World's Most Extraordinary Homes on Netflix. All ready to go. We just finished our breakfast and now we are pretty much heading out for the day. So yeah, it's the start of another very busy week. It's the 1st of July today. And luckily we have the 4th off on Thursday. So just looking forward to that already. I know it's only Monday, but you know, I'm tired. <laughs> we had a busy weekend. Yeah, here's the final look. All good to go. I've never met someone who could even compare to you You're stronger than I ever knew Swimming downstream to the cold seas I've never met someone who could even compare to you You're stronger than I ever knew Swimming downstream to the cold seas I've never met someone who could even compare to you You're stronger than I ever knew Swimming down the streets with the cold seas I've never met someone who could be from compared to you Stronger than I ever know Swimming down the streets You don't get to fall I'm <laughs> doing this Myself, literally the entire property that I'm staying on no one is here so yeah I mean I can really just dance and sing and no one will care but yeah anyways my um, amazing roommate Makara she is going on a solo trip to Cape Town which you know I was like if you're this close to Cape Town and you're in South Africa you can't really say you've been to South Africa without being to Cape Town so you know, I, I prompted her, I was like, listen, girl, like, this is the chance of a lifetime. Take this opportunity and go explore how amazing Cape Town is. Honestly, I would be going again if I could afford it, number one. And if I wasn't just there like two weeks, two weeks ago for almost two weeks. So yeah, anyway, so she's there for the weekend. It is actually, here, let me pick this up and move it to a slightly different location. So. It is actually the 4th of July today, so I'm just going to have a really cozy evening drinking my wine, having some soup, and watching Love Island and whatever other TV shows I have downloaded because I've, you know, I've downloaded a ton. So yeah, it's just going to be a really chill kind of evening and then I have work tomorrow just for half a day, which will be fine. And then I have the entire rest of the weekend to do absolutely nothing, recharge my batteries, and maybe go see a movie, you know, go on a solo movie date with myself uh, to watch Secret Life of Pets. So I'll keep you posted. And tomorrow is Tadiwa's birthday. Oh, I wish more than anything I could be with him. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be sad, but I'm also so excited for him. I want him to have the best day and yeah. Anyway, so that's my next few days laid out for you guys. And I'm just gonna go and chill and enjoy actually doing nothing so yeah hey guys so i am taking myself on a little date to the movies um i'm gonna go to the mall which is just fun to walk around anyways it's like massive and beautiful and whatever so i'm gonna go watch secret life of pets 2 i'm so excited it's in 3d and I have about an hour to kill, so I'm gonna go a little early, walk around, get a treat to bring with me, and yeah, just get out of the house, you know, at least one thing 
in the day so that when I come back later and binge Love Island, I feel like I've done something, you know? <laughs> Even though it's just going to watch a movie. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm about to call my Uber and uh, this is the outfit. I know it's, I, I, I wore this in the last clip, but uh, it's just so cozy. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs>